No, they, I give them credit. They played well defensively. They certainly didn't let us get to their net. And I thought we, you know, really the big thing, first two periods especially, I thought we let them off the hook. We didn't shoot enough pucks. We had some two on ones. And uh, we had some opportunities where we just didn't get pucks into the net. Those were second chance opportunities. And, um, you know, I didn't think we played terrible. We didn't play with enough energy for sure. But, uh, you know, you're, you're not going to create a lot of offense if you don't shoot the puck. Talking about. It wasn't tested very often. No. Yeah, and, and he, you know, he was solid, but like I said, we let him off the hook. You talk about having opportunities in third year. You had uh, that five-minute power play. What what happened on that? Just weren't able to connect again? Yeah, I, I think that, uh, you know, we get, we got a couple looks at it, but we looked out of sync. I thought offensively we were out of sync all night. You know, we holding the puck a little bit too long. We didn't play fast enough. I thought our, our break-ins on our power play struggled, and, and uh, you know, not, Good team like that, they play good defense. You got to get pucks in behind them, and you got to beat them to some foot races and win some battles. And we just didn't do enough of that tonight. Really, all their goals came off of turnovers in your end. Yeah, and that's something that we haven't had a lot of. You know, I, we've been taking care of the puck pretty well, but uh, I think every every goal they scored with the even the empty netter was a turnover. And um, you know, we were in position to get the puck out and, and go to work uh, offensively, and we just didn't make strong plays with it. So it started with the the first goal that they had and. It was kind of the theme the rest of the game. With uh, McNabb, when he was in the NHL, it seemed like he was playing a simple game, making simple plays. And at times here, even when you've been winning, mm -hmm. and especially tonight, it stood out that yeah. it seems like he's trying to do too much. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, he wasn't as sharp tonight as, as he needs to be for us to, to be successful. You know, I think he's been playing really well. You know, he, he had a bad night. I think he would tell you that. And it, it happens, and he certainly knows that he's effective when his game is the simpler his game is the more effective he is but there was some hesitation tonight I guess is the best way to put it and uh, for him or any of our players when you stop playing fast and you start hesitating then it slows our team down and we're not as effective. I know it's not an excuse and it's not your fault either but when there's that many people in the building there's nothing really to pump you up. You know what I mean? That's your responsibility. Yeah, but you got to make your own energy. Uh, you got to make your own energy. It's not ideal but both teams are playing in the same building and uh, you know, we we should we had a lot to play for tonight. You know, we had a we had a streak on the line, and uh, we're at home here. We've got a lot of games coming up at home, and you know, we just didn't we didn't bring the kind of energy that we needed to tonight. Getting back at it on Friday night, it's a quick turnaround at least. What's the message moving forward from this one? Well, we don't dwell on it when we win, so we certainly don't want to dwell on it when, when we lose. We got to get back to the things that made us successful uh, in this recent string, and, and make sure that we're we're sticking to our ingredients and sticking to our game plan. And if we do that, we're going to be successful. Larson's point streak comes to an end. What's changed for him that he got other than tonight he's been on a hot streak? Uh, I think he's been good chemistry with uh, with his line mates with Luke and, and uh, Braden Irwin there. And uh, again, same thing. You know, they were keeping the game really simple. If you look at uh, the Wilkesbury game, uh, Luke Adams' goal was was a transition off the four check where Braden Irwin gets it down, he puts it off the goalie, and it's there for the rebound. Uh, uh, Larson's goal was a uh, rush. We get over the offensive blue line, slap shot off the goalie's pads, rebound in the back of the net. Tonight we didn't do any of that. Every time we got over the line tonight, or any time we had an offensive opportunity, we wanted to make a little bit better play. And the more you complicate the game, the harder it becomes. And uh, you know we, we've got to keep that in mind going forward. So for him, so we're going with that. Yeah, he's just got to keep playing the same way. I mean, he, he's. You know, he's got to be gritty around the net all the time, and he, he certainly had a couple opportunities. I thought he made some good looks on the power play tonight, and he, he could have easily gotten a point or two there, but, uh, you know, he just didn't, he didn't finish. That top line's pretty good. Um, you know, domestic club. Conley and whatever. Uh, I, like not, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that you were matching up Shaler again against that top yeah. line. That's got to be one of the tougher ones to match up with, uh, you know, in the league, right? Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're very good. Um, I, I thought... You know that there's five guys on the ice, so you know I think all those guys uh, ended up a minus two tonight. One of them was on the empty netter. Uh, I, you know, I, like I said before, I like their chances when they're out there playing against other teams' top line. It is a difficult uh, matchup. It is a good line, but at the same time, I, I trust those guys to take care of those those lines. Yeah, it was a case uh, tonight of uh, looking to make the, the perfect pass rather than taking a, a shot on, on goal, sure. you know, pass up shots. For we really let their goalie off the hook tonight. You know, we, we had some, especially in the first and second, I thought we had some two-on-ones, three-on-ones where pass, pass, pass back, or, 
even when we did connect, uh, you know, uh, Larson made a great play to bring Irwin on the two-on-one and just kind of rolled off his tape uh, and, and kind of scored it on net, but we didn't get a good look at it there. You know, we just, you know, we, we got to keep the game simple and make sure we're shooting more pucks. And I thought we, we tried to do that once we got behind, but then it was a little bit too late. And, you know, they're, gonna, they're a good defensive team. They play really well in their own zone. So... Uh, made the made the night really difficult for us. And Nevin Rankin is still pretty pesky, isn't he? He sure is. He finds a lot of loose pucks, and he's got a good stick, and made a couple of real nice plays tonight. So.